Yeoman reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto with filmmaker John Board of Me, the Bees, and Cancer. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind the making of this film and your belief in bee sting therapy. Wow. Okay. The first thing is, is that I, I, I won one, uh, the 1K wave. Remember the 1K wave that Ingrid Benninger? Punk films. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, put out, and I was one of the people selected. And at that time, I was stinging myself underneath this arm 30 times every other day, and I was at about 350 stings. So I thought, maybe I can do a documentary, because it was only a thousand dollars. And we actually came in, you know, 20 or 30 dollars underneath the thousand dollars. And we made the film, and it was with me when I was going from 350 stings to a thousand. And the way I got involved with it, my brother is an apiarist, a bee farmer, and he had studied quite a bit in Ohio with a very good master who understood bee therapy and all its different functions. And there are many different things that, that bee and their products are used for, the propolis, the, the royal jelly, the, the bee pollen. Those are all things that we use, and I use all those every day, right, in my fight with cancer. And he was also doing bee stings, and he had, he had actually helped somebody with cancer. So he said, John, why don't you try? And I thought, why not? I have somebody to guide me and bring me a, 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 a hive. And so that's what I did. So that's what we made the film about, and that's what that film is about. In the end, it's inspirational. How have audiences been responding to the film? Well, um, we've had a few. I was at a show, the Total Health show, and they showed it there. And, I had maybe 60, 70, 80 people there, and they really liked the movie. They found it was very informational. Of course, nobody had seen how do you use bee stings, and we go to a clinic, and it's just fabulous to watch all the different people getting different stings for different reasons, even animals. And, uh, and, and then, of course, so it was informational. They felt I had courage because I was doing that, and uh, there, I have to say there's a little bit of courage involved in that. You just have to just keep going, you know, you cock your head and just keep stinging yourself. It does hurt. And then, of course, they found it was inspirational because I was willing to go my own way and to try my own things to cure my cancer. So, and my brother came afterwards, and we, between the two of us, we answered lots of questions because there are lots of people who are in my position, either going their own way or trying to decide what to do with cancer because it's not a quick answer although you can take the quick answer if you want and then you just you you're just a somebody who they give things to and you say oh well, they, they know what they're doing whatever they are doing uh, I prefer to say no I sort of know what I'm doing and I'll keep trying different things and how are you feeling well I'm pretty good right now I'm 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 making smoothies every morning with just a ton of stuff in it greens and even even uh, yesterday's uh, uh, sort of rice with uh, quinoa and, and amaranth in it, and, and uh, bee pollen and propolis and uh, and um, uh, walnuts and, and, and hazelnuts and uh, uh, bok choy and celery and apple, and I make about two cups of it, two big cups of it in my osterizer. And then I drink that all day long, so I'm continually getting vegetables and all the, all the nutrients that I need all day long. And then in the evening I have a solid meal, you know, maybe a little bit of meat or some chicken, maybe some potatoes and stuff like that. And, oh. so, so I'm, and actually I'm doing pretty well. I'm, I'm not exercising. I'm very, I'm, I was writing a blog too about the idiot that I live with. The idiot being me, because okay. although, you know, unfortunately I I'm really have lots of good things, but I'm not a very good worker in many ways, and I, I don't give up the major things, but I'll try something, but not go hard for it, so I'm not exercising, and that I should be doing, that would, that would change things a little bit, and I do still smoke, which of course is a great addiction. And you've been into homeopathic medicine for quite some time. What? inspired you to start the Hollywood Survival Kit, which is something you're very well known for. Well, the first kit that I made was a big kit, and I began it when I had arthritis in one hand, went to a homeopathic shop, knew nothing about it. They gave me some stuff. Geez, within three or four weeks, my pains on my hand were gone. I could close my fingers again, and that was the same way for 10 years. So I started carrying a bag with books and remedies, and people would come and say, I feel this way or that way or that way. And 
I would open the book at the page and they would say, oh, this is the remedy, you know, because the remedies are often there via a symptom and then the remedy. Oh, this, do you have it? And if I had it, I'd give it and then I'd ask them. And that's how I learned. And slowly over a number of years, I learned. And then I realized there were some that came up for people who were in community and working hard. And that's what it was. So I made the kit up and then I, then I made a smaller kit up that fits in your pocket. And that's this one here. And what can we find inside there? We can find, um, we can find uh, a stress formula for anxiety and for stage fright, fright and for stress. We can find aconite for first sign of a cold, emotional shock. We can find arnica for physical injury, sprains and bruises and sore backs and being overtired. Uh, we can get to use our coffee, which is for an overactive mind in the daytime when confusion and, uh, and at nighttime when you can't get to sleep because your mind is going at a thousand miles an hour because you have an interview with me the next day, you see? Absolutely, I could have used this. Well, there you go. <laughs> and the last one is Nux Vomica, which is for overwork, hangover, and headaches, and migraines. And, is, and, and so I, that's, that's what's in this kit. And then there's this. This is, this is the instruction sheet, which is like that and like that with all the remedies on it and something about me and something about homeopathy and something about how to take them and that folds up behind us mm -hmm. and it retails at about $40 mm -hmm. and you can always get one by writing me at uh, hollywoodsurvivalkit.com but just recently because I've decided to, to, to get into some cannabis for the CBD the cannabinoids that are very good in cancer cells have receptors, and if a cannabinoid goes in there in the cancer receptor, it kills the cancer, although the receptors are there for it. And I think that's how it's originally balanced between the, because the, can the cancer wants to have the other side, the good side, and usually in our bodies it's all balanced, and if it gets out of balance. So, it, so I've decided to do that with juice. And I realized that this kit is absolutely fabulous for people who are sick. And so I'm going to uh, readjust myself, and I've got a, a clinic that's looking at me, and uh, hopefully they'll distribute the kit. But now more for people who are ill and are having side effects. Uh, I mean, I think people who are using THC and the higher marijuana things that we all know and hear about and all the wild things, but they have effects, sometimes uh, huge effects on pain. And they're used very, very, in a very sophisticated way on pain. But of course, maybe there are little effects with that. Maybe they get paranoid the way a smoker does, or they get anxious, or they get confused. This kit is wonderful with that. I've taken people from being raging, and in less than 10 seconds, have them absolutely calm and say, no, I'm fine now. Do you, do you think you'll make more films in the future? Oh, I'm always going to make more films in the future. I hope so. I'm working on a couple and helping people with a couple and turning things down and accepting things. Yeah, I'm always working. I'm actually breaking down a script that's going to be shot in Vietnam. Oh. Tell me a little bit about the opening night of Me, the Bees, and Cancer and where the proceeds will be going. Well, Me, the Bees, and Cancer is having its opening night for its public run at the Royal Cinema, I believe it's 608 College Street, west of Bathurst, 7 o'clock, June the 21st, Friday, June the 21st, and the first showing is going to be a fundraiser for the Actors Fund, and the Actors Fund gives, gives money to anybody in our industry, you or I or any of us, when we really, really need it. And so they once gave me some money, and, and I thought, well, what a good way, I can maybe give some of it back. So the opening night tickets, the first screening, are twenty dollars. After that, the normal price is ten dollars. If one wants to be a sponsor of the opening night, there are sponsorships as well. So I look forward to a great opening night. And where's the best place to find out more information on Me the Bees and Cancer online? They can either go to the Royal Cinemas uh, website where they can buy the tickets, or they can again go to uh, come to my site, Hollywood Survival Kit, and just write me a letter. If there's a way to get to me and I'll answer anybody. Thank you so much, John. Congratulations, and best of luck at the screening. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto. That was good. Yeah. It was